Hello everybody. It's been a long day. I've been driving all fucking day. It's late at night. And right before I ended the day, uh, I had to sit in traffic for like an hour and a half. And when I mean sit in traffic, I mean sit in one fucking place with the engine off for an hour and a half. Because somehow, some way, three trucks got into an accident and shut the whole fucking highway down. So I'm ready to end my day. But before I do... I'm gonna get this video out the way. So, um, last week I made eighteen hundred dollars net, and when I say net, for those of you who don't know, that's after all expenses paid and after Uncle Sam gets his cut of the pie. That's after taxes. Last week, that was $1,800. $1,800 in my pocket after Uncle Sam gets his cut. Uh, this week's going to be $1,800 as well. That's the paycheck I'm going to get this week. So I'm going to talk about the week that I had last week, just as an example. Um, made the same amount of money in the last two weeks, $1,800 a week. Uh, but I'm going to use last week as an example of what you can expect... From percentage. Um, now, not every week is like this, and not every week's gonna be like this. For instance, this current week, um, I've already done the math. Next week's check will net me only eight hundred and fifty dollars. The reason why is because it was just a fucked up week. I only ran three loads this week, so if I had had that fourth load. Uh, if I had that fourth load for say like five hundred dollars, instead of eight fifty, I'd be getting twelve something. You know, which is a mediocre week. Eleven, you know, eleven twelve hundred dollars a mediocre week. Um, Eighteen hundred dollars, good week. So I had two good weeks in a row, followed by this is a shitty week, but that's okay. So basically, I ran four loads last week, and this is what they look like. An 850, let me do this. Hold on a minute, let me get these, I don't want to get mixed up here. I ran an 855 mile load, then a short little 500 miler, then a 772 mile load, then a 928 mile load. That equals out to about 3,024, I think it is, or 3,014, 3,000, about 3,000 miles, which is a pretty good week. Um, so if you want to make that $1,800 check running percentage, you've got to fucking haul ass. You know, you've got to run hard. Uh, you know, since I leased the truck, I've been running as hard as I possibly can. I've been sh sleeping at shippers and receivers every chance that I get. Um, I've, I've, been del I've been delivering loads up to a day early uh, when I can, if possible. I tried. But I, I don't think... I don't think, I, I didn't even run super, super hard last week. I wasn't, like, running and gunning. Well, I, 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 r I ran harder this week to try to make up for, you know, only, I was, I was trying to get that fourth load, but it just didn't work out that way. It's, scheduling was all fucked up. Um, I ran out of hours on Saturday. If I had run out of hours and had to take a reset, I could have run most of the load out and delivered on Monday, but because I ran out of hours early... Uh, had to take a reset, then drive all day Monday, and wasn't able to deliver till Tuesday, so that fucked me up a little bit. Plus, this load, uh, which delivers tomorrow, Thursday morning, or Thursday afternoon, is going to deliver so late, um, the load I'm picking up, I'm not, I'm not, it's going to be too late for me to get a load that I could pick up Thursday and deliver Friday. So the, the only, the thing, the load that I'm going to pick up doesn't deliver till Monday, so it's my weekend load. You know, it is what it is. So when you run on percentage, 
you know, since you're not really getting paid by the mile, the more loads that you can get in, the better. You just want to knock these fucking loads out. In fact, it's better to, if you can get a bunch of short runs that pay decently, you'll be doing better than if you get two or three long ass runs. You know, a lot of these longer runs, the the pay is not that great. They're short, like, there's a lot, like, the I've been seeing the better uh, rate per mile on shorter loads. But anyways, okay, so I ran 3,000 miles last week, <clears throat> right? So, one load paid 1623 one paid 711 one paid 875 and then one paid 1300 that equals out to about $4,500. That's my, that's, yeah, that's my gross, $4,500 to the truck. Um, once you take out the, uh, let's see, what is it, $2,100, that's my overhead and all my fuel. My overhead is about 1100 as of right now, with escrows and truck payment, insurance, and everything. It's about 1100 um, It'll go down once the escrows are satisfied, but that's not going to be for a while. So it's about 1100 um, Typical fuel cost for a week, 900 to to $1,000, just depending. I think it was only about 900 or... I don't know. I think it was only about 900 or something like that last week. But here's the, th here's the thing about... When you pay for fuel... The fuel I paid for last week out of my settlement uh, is not the fuel that I burned that prior week. Like, tomorrow, the fuel that I'm paying for when I get paid tomorrow isn't paying for last week's fuel. It's paying for the fuel I bought two to three weeks ago. There's a delay on when you get charged for fueling up. So, you know, it, it, which kind of sucks because you may have a week where you burn a lot of fuel or you have to buy expensive fuel. And that that the cost of that expensive fuel or whatever may hit on a week where you didn't do all that well and it'll hit you harder but you'll bounce back eventually because you'll have a week where you know you got to I got to fuel up at the terminal and I didn't have to spend near as much on fuel because the terminal fuel price is way fucking it's basically the, the the fuel that I could buy at the Gary terminal is basically the cheapest fuel in the country so I fuel up there every chance I get. And the def is like 70 cents a gallon cheaper. So for so if I have a week where I don't spend that much on fuel, that I'm going to have to pay for that fuel two weeks later. So if that could be on a good check, where I don't have to pay quite as much for fuel, and that check's even bigger, right? Okay, so after all my overhead and fuel comes out, that comes out to about $2,400, right? That's the money I'll get in my settlement. I'll get a, uh, I'm, tomorrow I'm gonna get a check. I'm gonna settlement for $2,400 and some change. But then I gotta take a quarter of that out, put it in the tax savings account for Uncle Sam for the quarterly estimated tax payment. So after I shave off Uncle Sam's cut, that comes out to a net of $1,800 that I get to keep for a 3,000 mile week. By the way, the w the rates per mile that I earned on that, uh, one load was $1.88 a mile. Uh, this load, I didn't write the damn, I didn't figure the uh, rate per mile on this one, but uh, let's see, $711 at 500 miles, so dollar 30 a mile something like that I'll let you do the math plus the a load that paid a dollar 13 a mile which ain't great and then a dollar a load that paid me a dollar 39 a mile that averages out to a dollar 48 a mile to the truck average per mile so I ran 3,000 miles at an average of a dollar 48 a mile which is what gave me my forty five hundred dollar gross so obviously a dollar forty eight a mile is a lot better than the dollar nine dollar ten that um the guy the lease operators on mileage are making. 
right? In fact, the average that I do is about a dollar fifty a mile. That's what I average out to. You know, I'll get a load that's like I I think this load this load I'm currently on is a dollar ninety a mile. Had a load not too long ago that was like two dollars thirty two cents a mile. <laughs> Goes up and down. You know, I mean the load to get me out of Texas only paid like a buck a mile, but it was to get me out of Texas. Now the thing to keep in mind is because I'm on percentage, um, I don't get paid a flat fuel surcharge. I get, I get 100% of the fuel sur surcharge that the customer pays. If you're on mileage, you get paid a flat fuel surcharge. Now, there are some times where my fuel surcharge is higher than the flat rate, and sometimes it's lower. It fluctuates. It just depends on what the market's doing and shit like that. Also, if you're on mileage, you get paid tarp pay. If you have to tarp a load, you get paid tarp pay by the company no matter what. I only get paid tarp pay if the customer pays it. See what I mean? So, now, and, and the another thing is, if you're, on, if you're on mileage pay, the company takes care of your pre-pass and your tolls as long as you, you, if you, as long as you use whatever recommended route they want you to use. If not, then you've got to cover the tolls. When you're on percentage like I am, you have to supply, order, supply, and pay for your own prepass and your own tolls. And that's what I do. That's my prepass is mine, not the company's. I had to order it. Right? So I pay all my own tolls, but you know, whether or not I Take a, that depends on if I take a route that requires tolls, you know, stuff like that. There's different factors that come into play. But even with those additional costs, I mean, the loads that don't pay me to tarp, they, pre, they for the most part, they pay me well enough to where it doesn't fucking matter anyway if I get that $85 or $50 or how much ever it is. I think for mileage guys, it's like 50 bucks to where if I get paid to tarp, if the customer pays it, I get like 75, 85, stuff like that. Um, so there is that, but even with those costs, you know, those per peripheral costs, dollar fifty a mile, still pretty good. Uh, and hopefully it'll go up as the summertime goes on. But at as a company driver, I was averaging nine hundred dollars a week after taxes um, at 42 cents a mile on good weeks running as a lease operator on percentage pay my good weeks I'm netting eighteen hundred dollars which is twice what I was making you know a, a mediocre week is eleven or twelve hundred and a shitty week like this one is gonna be eight hundred and fifty you know but this was this is not a typical week. This is a fucked up week. I haven't I very rarely run a week like this. Like I I don't I'd have to look at how many I mean I'm looking at a damn Let's see what I got here. Three hundred miles seven hundred and ninety six miles I might be getting all my shit fucked up here. Yeah, 800 plus 300, which is 1200, plus 928. So it's like a this is like a 2100 mile week. Um, it just if I had, and it's only three loads. So if I was able to get that extra load in there, uh, I'll be doing a bit better. I think I might have fucked up my numbers earlier. I think I might have been telling you guys the wrong loads. Whatever. The numbers are what they fucking are. That's just... Those are just examples of uh, how you do. You know, on my load notebook, I write down how many miles, loaded and empty. I, I put them together. Take the total I'm going to get paid for the load. The flat rate I'm going to get paid for the load. Then you take the, the load pay amount and you divide it by how many miles and that will give you your rate per mile 
so that way you can and whenever I get a pre-plan before I approve that pre-plan I just I check that I do that quick math and I can kind of gauge what how well that load pays and stuff like that and I can make a decision on it you know it, it for instance it's shit like okay well this load's got I can't I'm gonna lose a day on this load because I can't deliver it till Tuesday so I'll be sitting on Monday but the load pays a dollar ninety eight a mile you know and it's 800 miles or something like that or whatever you know oh this load only pays a dollar twelve a mile but it's gonna get me into Chi town where I know I can get a juicy load out of there that pays well or fucking whatever or Wisconsin you know so um, yeah I mean look I mean even if like I'm gonna pull a 800 this is a 850 dollar a week net after taxes and everything overhead and fuel and shit I, I don't know I don't know what the fuel cost is gonna be until it actually comes out you know because it takes there's such a fucking delay on you know paying for fuel but even with I mean, if you just look at the month of April, I mean, I'd have to do the math on it, but two $1,800 checks net in a row, you know, and then an $850 net check on, you know, after that, plus whatever I got paid the week before, um, it's pretty good average. It's looking at like maybe a $1,400, $1,500 average or something like that, just off the top of my head. So... Lo and fucking behold, yes, there is, in fact, indeed, money in leasing. Now, this is from the percentage perspective of things. Uh, mileage, haven't, haven't run on flat mileage. Um, so, I, I, you know, I couldn't really tell you how well those guys do. But all I know is I'm not chasing and begging for miles anymore. I'm trying, I'm chasing loads since I get paid a flat rate per load honestly I want five four to six hundred mile loads and I want to run one a day you know especially if they're if if they're all paying consecutively over a dollar ten a mile if I can knock out four to five you know maybe even six loads or whatever a week that's perfect at least four to five loads a week, that's great. Less than, like, three loads is shit, but four is good, five is awesome, six is excellent. You know, if you can, if you could squeeze those loads in and get them done. You know, if your mileage, it doesn't matter how many fucking loads you get, as long as the miles are there. You get one load, but if it's a 3,000 mile load, you're fucking square for the week, you know. In fact, you know, hell, if your mileage you want, just as, as few loads as possible, you want to be long loads. Percentage, the opposite. I like the shorter loads that I can knock out quick and grab the next one, knock it out quick, and just knock those loads out. You know, 600, 600, 700, 800, whatever, 900, you know, and that shit adds up quick. So if I can get, if I can get any kind of week where I'm grossing over 4,000, uh, I'm doing okay, you know. 4000 and up great and then take my overhead out of that and if I can if I can uh, gross after uh, if I can if I can uh, net after overhead and before taxes like 1800 to 2400 you know I'm doing all right so just letting you guys know how it's going it's working out it is working out. I ain't gonna be turning the truck in or, you know, any of that shit. Uh, it's working out so far. Hopefully, with summertime approaching, uh, rates, will, rates will climb up a bit. We'll see. Fuel's climbing up too. <laughs> but hopefully, uh, you know, the fuel surcharges are gonna climb up and hopefully, hopefully, you know, the rates stay square and everything works out and looks good and all that stuff. <laughs> But uh, I guess that's uh, that's what all I'm gonna say. I gotta go to bed. I'm fucking tired. I don't want to talk to you guys no more anyway. Um, if you guys have any questions, or you're, you know, you, you, 
anything you're wondering or interested in, uh, ask me and I'll see if I can answer for you. Especially anybody that is considering, you know, going, going into a lease. Especially flatbed percentage. Because then I could probably help you out with that. To the best of my knowledge, anyway. Well, that's it, man. I'll talk to you guys later. That shit.